I love films about people who switch bodies, things like Freaky Friday. I just always think they're so fun. So it doesn't take a lot to please me with this kind of narrative. And I have to say, Family Switch is pretty good if you like that kind of film. But if not, then honestly, it doesn't necessarily have that much to offer. This was released this year in 2023. It's directed by McGee and it stars Jennifer Garner, Ed Helms, Emma Myers and Brady Noon as Jess, Bill, Cece and Wyatt. They are our parents, daughter and son. We also have Lincoln and Theodore Sykes who both play baby Miles and what I did like about this that makes it a little bit different because let's face it there are so many films like this although admittedly not many where four members of the same household switch that's a little bit different but also the dog and the baby switch and we don't get to see too much of that, to be honest. I would have liked them to do a little bit more with that, but I found that to be uh, quite entertaining. So there are certainly things about this that make it a little bit different, but at the same time, it's also very, very similar to basically every other film where parents and children swap bodies. They meet this character, a wonderful character, um, played by Rita Moreno, and then they get their picture taken underneath this telescope, and the next thing you know, they're waking up in each other's beds. The mother and daughter swap, the father and son swap. And they, as is the case with these films, the parents go off to school in their children's bodies and the children go off to their parents' different jobs, activities, things like that. And they see things from each other's perspective. It's not a very unique narrative in that sense. But as I said, if you like this kind of film, then it's pretty predictable with what you can expect. So uh, it would be worth watching. If you like this kind of film, this is the kind of film you're going to get. So for me, it did appeal. But if somebody were to say it doesn't offer anything unique, it's the same as all of the others. Yeah, for the most part, I could understand that. Apart from, as I said, a few things here and there. But there's a reason these films are done quite frequently. And that, for me, works really well because I really enjoy them. As I said, it doesn't take a lot to impress me with this kind of narrative because I love it. And as long as it's a decent narrative development, it is slow. I will say that. It took way longer than I would have liked to get to the point. There was far too much setting up. And part of that is because we do have four characters swapping bodies. So we did need to establish what those characters are like in their own bodies to begin with. But I still think that it took far too long. and It didn't need to take that long to get to the switch. But once we got there... I think the pacing was really good. There were a few bits of fluff here and there that we could have taken out. The film, I think, is about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 40 minutes. We could have removed 10, 15 minutes here and there without losing anything. But generally, the pacing was good. The structure of the narrative works really well. I think the way it edited between the different characters, I thought it, it, it felt uh, very effective. It didn't feel too choppy, which could have been the case when you're dealing with four characters doing four separate things. We do have occasions when they're together as a family unit, but largely they're either on their own or the parents are together and the children are together. And I think the the way they approached it, it worked really well. This is being marketed as a Christmas film. They put enough Christmas in it that they can just get away with saying it's a Christmas film. But if you're looking for a film to get you in the Christmas spirit... I would say there's nowhere near enough Christmas in it for that. So it's borderline a Christmas film. And I was looking forward to this being really festive, actually. I thought it would be basically Freaky Friday, but Christmas. And it's not. That's not the case, unfortunately. But that being said, I liked it. I also think all of the performances were really good. But Jennifer Garner was amazing. And one of my favourite moments is when she's eating the chocolate ice cream and just the look on her face was just brilliant. And they were all great, though, everybody across the board. Um, the baby as well. <laughs> I mean, the baby was wonderful. I don't, I don't want to give away too much, but there was one bit where he had a, a dog's toy in his mouth and he was acting like the dog and it was it was really great. And yeah, I wish they'd done more with the baby and the dog because that would have made this even more unique. Having the four swapping, as I said, is quite different to the usual Switch film, and I think they did a, a pretty good job with it. The film's not going to be for everybody. 
it's maybe not as good as some other Switch films and I won't name any to do a direct comparison because in some ways you can't really directly compare it because it is a little bit different. But at the same time, it's not too bad. I personally enjoyed it because I like this kind of film. If you're not a fan of this kind of film in general, I don't think it's worth watching because I don't think it offers that much else. But if you like this kind of narrative, go for it. I think you'll find it to be quite pleasing, predictable in some ways, a little bit refreshing in others. Not really enough Christmas to call it a Christmas film, but otherwise I enjoyed it. <laughs>